We're here today at Brian Denny Stadium to find out how the grounds crew gets the field looking just as good as the football team come Saturday. This is such a pristine ground we've got here. How do you get this cathedral of football in Alabama looking so good? Well, I've got a good crew here. We do a lot of good things out here. Uh, uh, the administration supports us. We have the resources we need. We were just noticing just how perfect it looks. When do you kind of get that gratification of, well, my job is done? Uh, gratification, it's, you know. As soon as we do that, they tear it up and we start over. So I don't know where that comes. <laughs> uh, it's like a baker, though. He bakes a nice pie and then it gets eaten, right? That's right. That's right. And that's what it is. We're not. We're not. We're. That's who we're saving it for. We're saving it for the game. Do you kind of feel like the grass is kind of like a your baby? Uh, is that uh, what you? A uh, uh, baby, absolutely. It's a. Uh, 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 it's got all those parts to it. Sure, it, it keeps me up at night sometimes and everything. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Now, what kind of grass specifically do we have on Brian Denny's State? We, we have a 419 sod. It's the same type of grass you would see on most sports fields and, and most golf courses in the area. Uh, we've overseeded it with a ryegrass, and uh, we get these kinds of results. All right, now, Scott, we've seen the commercial, the famous commercial with uh, the Chiefs logo being sure. painted in the end zone wrong. Sure. Have you ever had a situation like that? We, we've not we've not had that particular situation. <laughs> uh, I've got a really great crew, and they don't, uh, they don't bobble the ball too many times. But if they did, what would you do in a situation like that? Uh, I guess you'd, you'd basically cover it over and start again and, uh, and hope it didn't shadow through. Alabama, easier to spell than Chiefs.